Welcome everyone, today we have a new guide video for Honkai Star Rail. In this video, we'll break down into two parts. The first part, we'll have a look at Jin Yuan and also his build and also his weapons. So we'll look into his skills and also abilities into more details, including the Lightning Lord, which looks very interesting. On the second part of the video, what we'll do is, we'll have a look at Shu Zhu role for Jin Yuan and what are the things we should consider as a free-to-play player. Now, similar to all of our videos, the article and also guide will be available in the links below. So if you come over to the game, you guys can see I have close to 24,000 free-to-play, you know, Stellar Jade, and also 17 free summons. So I'm really curious whether I want to roll for Jingwei or not, and I want to make this video for you guys, because we'll be looking at the similar decision making, right? And we know Jingwei will be coming very soon. Now over here, Miho, you have teased the character officially with English website and also the Chinese website. There is more information on the Chinese side compared to the English one, and what I do is I make some translation for you guys, and also we'll go through the skills for Jingwei into details. And if you guys are interested, you can come over here to the links below to go for different websites for the teasers for Jingwei. So you can see more of the Jingwei teasers, stories, and also animations over here. Now briefly going over to Jingwen's skills, we can see that his normal attack will deal percentage damage of his normal attack with lightning damage. And his you know, skill ability will allow him to do a percentage damage to all the enemies and then allows lightning lord to have two actions per turn. And this increases lightning lord's speed, which we'll have a look at very soon. And his ultimate will provide him with 120% of attack to all the enemies and provide three actions for the lightning lord. So over here, this is the picture from the official media, and this is the Lightning Lord. So you can see the Lightning Lord over here, and the Lightning Lord is a special passive with Jing Yuan, which allows him to do AoE damage and also single target damage. He also counts as a follow-up attack. And this means that this ability can be enhanced by certain relics and also simulator world blessings. So looking closely at Lightning Lord, there's a lot of writing over here. So basically Lightning Lord is like an additional way of dealing damage and he can be dealing damage directly to a single target, and this also deals damage to adjacent target. Lightning Lord's abilities will be enhanced with each action per turn. He starts with 60 speed and also 3 base action, and casting his skill gives him 2 more base action, and also casting the ultimate gives him 3 more action. And this can be maximum to 10 actions. Each, each action provides the Lightning Lord with 10 speed. So what that means is, if you do get 10, you know, 10 actions, and you'll be looking at 100, I believe 107, 130 speed, so you plus 70 to 60. 130 speed is pretty good for any character. And this means the Lightning Lord will be attacking at 33% of Jiren's attack every turn, and this makes him super good with damage. So ideally, what you want to do is, you want to be casting Jiren's technique before the fight, which provide him with additional 3 action per turn for the Lightning Lord. And after that, you want to be casting his skills and also abilities to get him up to 10 speed. And once he has 10 speed, he will be attacking super fast and dealing more damage AoE. Now, if we have a look at Jin Yuan's trace passives, we can see that if Lightning Lord action per turn is greater than 6, the critical damage will be increased, or its critical damage will be increased by 25%. And at the start of battle, he will gain 15 energy, and also after using his skills, he will be gaining 10% critical chance for two turns. Now finally, let's have a look at Jin Yuan's, you know, classic limited weapon. The attribution weapon, Long Knight. This weapon will provide the user with a massive boost of critical damage. And this also increases the ultimate damage and also the follow-up damage. And after casting the spell ability, this will trigger a special buff that increases the damage of follow-up attack by 48 up to 80%. And this is pretty amazing, right? So of course this is made for Jin Yuan. And this item also works for Himiko. So this is a pretty interesting item, and I'm really curious about what I want to pull for this item if I get Jin Yuan. So coming over to the second part of the video. Now, should you roll for Jin Yuan with your free-to-play or low-spending account? And those are my considerations as well. So if we come over to my account, you can see that I haven't summoned for anything after getting Sea Lion. And I have a lot of Stellar Jays, right? And you can see my characters. I have currently five, oh, four five-star characters, not five. I have four five-star characters and with Sea Lion as my main character. So the first thing we want to look at as a free-to-play player is how much jade have you saved up. And what you're going to see later on is, I really recommend saving at least 80 summons, because this will guarantee a soft pity. And if you do not get a soft pity, this will make the urge to spend more money into the game. Now the second thing we should be considering is, are you going to summon for patch 1.1 characters? We know Lucha and also Silver Wolf will be coming. So Lucha is going to be imaginary, while Silver Wolf is going to be quantum. After that, we know that at patch 1.2, there will be Blade and Kafka. 
Blade is gonna be the only 5 star wind character that will be coming into the game, and character is very popular. So there's a lot of options. Are you gonna wait for like, you know, 80 days for the patch 1.2? Are you gonna wait for about 20 days for patch 1.1? Or are you gonna summon now? Now, of course, guys, it is a little difficult to consider about summoning without knowing the team build and also what team you have. What I recommend is having at least one to two hunt characters as your five star will be ideal. After that, having any of the irritation characters or the AOE characters will be really good. And of course, you want any characters that can disable, that can provide with utility, any character that can tank, and any character that can heal. So in that sense, if I was going to go for Jinran, which I'm very attentive to, and I think I will be summoning for him, it's because I do not have the other replacement, which would be Clara. If I do have Clara, I don't think I will go with Jinran. But with Himiko, I don't think Himiko can replace Jinran. And similarly, I also need a lining character. So I'm looking at my team composition and also the elements. And knowing that Jinran will be the only 5-star lightning character before Kafka comes, so this is the, I guess, the understanding for me to go for different elements. But of course, guys, one thing I want to say is, be careful with how much you spend and how long you, you know, save your Jade. Sometimes if you spend your Jade too quickly, you might be missing out in character that will be coming. So if you're going for Silver Wolf, I do recommend saving for Silver Wolf instead of rolling for Jinran, unless you really want him. But if you're going for Blade or Kafka, maybe you can, you know, summon for Jinran. If you get lucky, you can save some Jade for the new characters, which will be coming in about how many days. Now, before I finish, I also want to talk about should you roll for 5 stars and how should you roll for 5 stars. Usually, I want to have at least 80 summons. And sometimes, just to be safe, you can have over 150 summons. Because this means even if you lose the 50-50, you can still get the character you wanted without having to spend the money. And if you guys look over here, this is one of the reasons I'm thinking of summoning for Jinran. I don't want to wait for too long, and also I want to play a new character. But of course guys, if I do not have enough Stellar Jade for free to play, or if I was planning to go for any of the patch 1.2 characters, then I won't be summoning. So the bigger reason for me, for my account, is that I probably won't go for Luchi or Silver Wolf, simply because I might not have enough Jade. Let's see how I go. And I do have the replacement for Lucia in terms of the imaginary damage, which is Welt. And I also have Silai, which also deals quantum damage. I know they don't fit the same roles, but at least I can deal some damage this way. Now there's also one thing we should be preparing for, is that when getting a new 5-star character, when you lose the 50-50, you can re-evaluate your decisions. So what that means is, you'll be guaranteed of getting the next 5-star character on the limited banner. Let's say if I was summoning the Silai banner, and I lost it to maybe someone like Clara, so then, before I keep summoning, I maybe think about, can I stop now and also save for the next banner? Because what I mean by that is, if I'm summoning for Jinran, and all of a sudden I got Clara because I lost 50-50, and it is a soft pity, and then I may be saving, you know, my limited banner guarantee for the next character. Because I do think Clara is a good replacement for Jinran in terms of AoE damage. But if I get someone else, maybe I still go for Jinran, so let's see how it go with the summons. Now my plan with the summoning, which will be coming very soon with the American server, is that I will be summoning for Jinran first. If I do have a lot of spare Stellar Jade, maybe if I have over 80 summons left, I'll be considering whether I want to go for the weapon as well. So what I'll do is, I'll make a new video about the summoning live, and let's see how it go with summoning for Jinran, and also summoning for the weapon. Now do keep in mind guys, I'm not trying to promote it for you guys to summon. I give you guys the reasons and also ideas why I want to summon for him. And you want to look at your own team comp and also your own build before you start summoning. Now if you guys haven't subscribed, it is a really good time to do so. Because I'll be covering tons of free jade guides, new events, official updates, and also free to play tips and also tricks to hunt Khan Star Rail. And make sure you turn on the notification guys, because some of the events and also some of the you know updates may be time limited and with a limited number of giveaways. Like in this particular guide, only 2000 players can get the lucky giveaway for 3000 jades. So make sure you subscribe and also turn the notification on. And if you look over here, a lot of you haven't turned it on. We have over 80% people who haven't turned it on. So make sure you turn it on for the latest news and also all the freebies with Hankai Star Rail.